All right, here we have our third video about the equation of a tangent line, our third example. I see the equation of a tangent line. I'm thinking three steps. I'm going to just fill those in. First step, find m. Tangent means take the derivative, plug in your x value. So in our point, we have 0, 2. So the x value is 0. My second step is going to be to find b. So I'm going to write out y equals mx plus b and have something to substitute in for everything but b. And then my third and final step is to write the equation. So I'm just going to leave a y equals. If you feel like you can take this derivative on your own and plug in and maybe even find b, if you think you can do this problem, I would pause the video and see if you've got it. Because example four, the next one is harder than this one. So this is a good time to pause and see what you can do on your own now. I'm going to jump in and take the derivative as my first step of this function here. So derivative of e to the x is e to the x. Derivative of x cubed, bring down that power, I get 3x squared. Bring down the power, subtract one for the new power. And then the derivative of 1 is 0. Now I'm going to plug in f prime of whatever the x value is. So that equation f prime of x will tell me the slope of the tangent line for any x value I want but we're asked to be tangent at the point 0 2 so I'm going to do e to the 0 plus 3 times 0 squared and you could use your calculator or you might already know anything to the 0 power is 1 so e to the 0 is 1 plus 3 times 0 squared is just going to be 0 so my slope is going to be 1 feel free to use your calculator if you're not sure though so there's my slope in my first step. My second step is to just write out y equals mx plus b and plug in everything I know. So I want to figure out what's the y value of this point. So the y value is 2. The slope we found in the first step is 1. And the x value of the point is 0 plus b. So we have 2 equals, I need to multiply these together first, 0 plus b. There's nothing to move over. We just get that our b equals 2. Last step is to write the equation y equals mx plus b. So y equals 1x plus 2 or just x plus 2, however you would prefer to write it. Both are great. There's our three steps. Take the derivative, plug in the x value, that gives you your slope. Write out y equals mx plus b, replace everything but b to solve for it. And then last step, write the full equation, y equals mx plus b using the m and b that you found in the first two steps.